Sket Video Series. The Dawson Kiln Setter was developed in the 1950s as a means of automatically shutting off your kiln. It utilizes pyrometric cones which are designed to bend when the kiln has achieved the proper amount of heat work. Each cone is stamped with a cone number. You simply use the cone number that matches the clay or glaze you are firing. When the kiln has reached the proper amount of heat work, the cone bends and the sensing rod, which is sitting on top of the cone, falls with it and the other end releases a claw which releases the falling weight and shuts off the kiln. Pyrometric cones can be purchased at just about any ceramic supply store. The most common cones used are between cone 022 and cone 10. It's helpful to think of the O as being a minus sign. This means a cone 06 will fire a lot cooler than a cone 6, so be very careful when you're choosing your cones. Lift the falling weight and hold down the claw to keep it in place. While keeping your hand on the claw, reach around with your other hand and place the proper cone in the kiln sitter. Once the cone is placed, release the claw, set the timer, and press in the plunger to start the kiln. You want to set the timer for 30 minutes past the anticipated firing time. Where you place the cone under the sensing rod is extremely important to the success of your firing. If you place the cone with the thin edge of the cone under the sensing rod, the kiln will shut off sooner. If you place it with a thick edge under the sensing rod, it will shut off later. You'll notice that the cone rests are notched. This is to ensure proper distance between the cone and the shutoff tube. Never place it above the notched area. You may also use a pyrometric bar in place of a cone. After your kiln setter is set, you will want to turn your switches to low then to medium two hours later, then two hours later to high. If your kiln was not equipped with a downdraft venting system and you needed to prop your lid, remember to lower it when you turn your switches to high. When you purchase your kiln sitter kiln from Scut, it comes with a gauge washer. The gauge washer is for adjusting your kiln sitter. Place the gauge washer over the end of the tube assembly as pictured. With the gauge washer in place, lift the falling weight underneath the claw. It should not touch the claw when raised. Place a little bit of pressure on the claw, and when released, the falling weight should drop. This one is slightly out of adjustment. If you find your kiln sitter needs adjusting, loosen the trigger plate with the Allen wrench that came with the kiln. Slide the trigger plate up or down as needed, and then tighten it up. Test it once again, and readjust as necessary. You may also need to adjust the guide plate to ensure that the claw can move freely up and down. Just loosen the screws and adjust it as needed. Scott, we help you make great things.